Before we begin, we just ask that you please silence all cell phones. And during the recession, if you please halt for stopping for blocking the uh, cameraman. Thank you. Jason and Katie have invited you here today to share with them in this joyous celebration of their love and desire to join their lives together in marriage. 
We are here to rejoice. And remember that it is love that leads us to our true destinations and to celebrate with Jason and Katie. We are here to celebrate the marriage of Jason and Katie and to honor the beginning of their new life. We're here to listen, to love, to dance, and celebrate, and to send them into their future with our outrageous, loving support. So sit back now, open your hearts, and let the wedding begin. Marriage is a special place, the sheltered environment in which we can endlessly explore ourselves in the presence of another, and in which we can offer the possibility of true reflection of another. May the vision that Jason and Katie have of one another be always infused by the radiant force that first brought them together. And we wish that as they move into the sanctity of marriage, that they always hold one another in the love of all love. Marriage symbolizes the ultimate intimacy between a man and a woman. Yet this closeness should not diminish but strengthen the individuality of each partner. A marriage that lasts is one that always has a little more to grow. It is out of the resonance between individuality and union that love, whose incredible strength is equal only to its incredible fragility, is born and reborn. Marriage is a lifetime commitment which recognizes the negative as well as the positive aspect of life. Marriage's content is never predetermined. It is a living organism that reflects the continuous choices of the individuals involved. In marrying, we promise to love not only as we feel right now, but also as we intend to feel. In marriage, we say not only I love you today, but also I promise to love you tomorrow, the next day, and always. Love doesn't limit. Love brings with it the gift of freedom. Love teaches us to encourage the people we love to make their own choices, seek their own path, and learn their lessons in their own way and their own time. Love also teaches us to share our feelings and thoughts with each other about those choices. We can then make decisions openly and freely through our love that allows both to grow. Love that restrains is not love. To restrain another in the name of love doesn't create love, it creates restraint. Love means each person is free to follow his or her own heart. If we truly love, our choices will naturally and freely serve that love well. When we give freedom to another, we really give freedom to ourselves. In promising always, we promise each other time. We promise to exercise our love, to stretch it large enough to embrace the unforeseen realities of the future. We promise to learn to love beyond the level of our instincts and inclinations to love in hard times, and as well as when we are exhilarated by the pleasures of romance. We change because of these promises. We shape ourselves according to them. We live in their midst and live differently because of them. We feel protected because of them. We try some things and resist trying others because having promised, we feel secure to see, to be, to love. We are protected. Our hearts have come home. When we are safe in marriage, we can risk because we know we are loved. We can step beyond our fears because we have chosen. We can transcend our insecurities. We can make mistakes knowing we will not be cast out. Take missteps knowing someone will be there to catch us. And because mistakes and missteps are the stuff of change, of expansion, in marriage, we can expand to our fullest capacity. So remember these things as you go out into the world as a couple, that your love will have seasons, that your relationship is a progression, and that love will prevail. Remembering each other, holding each other in your hearts and your minds will give you a marriage as deep in its joy as your courtship has been in its magic. Congratulations, Jason and Katie, the real fun has just begun. Enfolded in joy, inhabited by hope, bathed in the infinite spectrum of love, may you always be infused with it and beautifully enlightened by it. 
May every desire you have for your love be fulfilled. May your vision clearly behold one another. May you hear each other most genuinely, and may you give of your endless generosity to nourish one another's hearts and sweetly keep the promises you make here today. Jason and Katie, you have declared your intention to make this venture of faith and love, realizing that from this time forward, your destinies will be woven of one design and your challenges and joys will be shared together. Today you are making public before family and friends that the words I love you are a full commitment of yourselves, one to another. We now give Jason and Katie a chance to read their personal vows. Katie, when we first met, we lived across the country from each other, and you never thought we had a chance. That did not stop us from trying, and we ultimately made it work. As a matter of fact, that's one of the things I love about you. No matter how difficult or challenging a goal might be, if it's something you really want, you will give it your best despite the high risk of failure. I guess what I'm trying to say is you really wanted me. But in all seriousness, these are the things I promise to always give my best, no matter how hard or challenging life gets. I will never stop trying for us. To always cherish and love you as my wife, to be a great father to our daughters, Rainy and Izzy, and most of all, to always tell you when you're being crazy. Katie, you're the most amazing partner I could have ever asked for. You inspire and push me to be a better version of myself each day. I look forward to spending the rest of my life with you. I love you. decisions, especially not with picking what to eat for dinner. But if there's one decision in my life that I know is the right one, is to spend the rest of my life with you. In you, I found a partner in life, a lover, a friend, a safe place. ugliest and most vulnerable with. In you, I found someone who supports me, who inspires me, who respects and honors me. Thank you for never making me feel like I'm too much and for looking at me with loving but rolled eyes even when we all know I'm being extra. <laughs> Thank you for embracing all the parts that make me, me. Most importantly, thank you for being a devoted family man. I cannot, <clears throat> I could not have picked a better man for our kids to look up to. It was never just me. It was always the girls and me. Thank you for not shying away from the challenges of fatherhood, for loving your daughters. Thank you for going half on Rainy with me and being the man who is setting that bar high for the love she allows in her life one day. You're such a present dad, I could not be more grateful. With you, I know I will never have to do anything on my own. I promise to be patient with you, even if it means I have to admit you're right sometimes. <laughs> I love you, and I'm so excited that we're finally getting married. Understanding that marriage is the convergence of your individual and joint destinies, as well as the greatest support for them. Jason, do you choose to marry Katie and have her as your wife? Katie, do you choose to marry Jason and have him as your husband? 
Jason, repeat after me. I choose you, Katie, to be my wife from this day forward, to love you and be faithful to you, to be a comfort in your life, to nourish you with my gentleness, to uphold you with my strength, to love your body as it ages, to weigh the effects of the words I speak and of the things I do, to never take you for granted, but always give thanks for your presence. I promise you this from my heart for all the days of my life. Katie, please repeat after me. I choose you, Jason, to be my husband from this day forward, to love you and be faithful to you, to be a comfort in your life, to nourish you with my gentleness, to uphold you with my strength, to love your body as it ages, to weigh the effects of the words I speak, to weigh the effects of the words I speak and of the things I do, to never take you for granted, but always give thanks for your presence. I promise you this from my heart for all the days of my life. Rings. Rings are made precious by our wearing them. The rings you exchange at your wedding are the most special because they say that even in your uniqueness, you have chosen to share your lives to allow the presence of another human being to enhance who you are. As you wear them through time, they will reflect not only who you are, but also what you have created together. Jason, please place the ring. Jason, please repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and as a constant reminder that I have chosen you above all others to be the one to share my life. Katie, please place the ring on Jason's finger. Katie, please repeat after me. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and as a constant reminder that I have chosen you above all others to be the one to share my life. Jason and Katie, because you have pledged your love and commitment to each other before these witnesses, I declare that you are husband and wife. May the love that lives in and around all of us fill your hearts and infuse your lives. You may now kiss to seal this union. May you be supported every step of your path. May you endlessly delight in one another. May you rest in the comfort of knowing that you have chosen through one another to serve the highest purpose of love. Depart in peace, recognizing that what you have undertaken together will bring you infinite joy. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Jason and Katie Lee, husband and wife.
that red and velvet. I want that sugar sweet. Don't let nobody touch it unless that somebody's me. I gotta be in there. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. At this time, we'd like you to take advantage of the cocktail hour before the reception. Thank you.